in this video. Fabio Quartararo discovers he can be fast in the rain. Maverick Vinales hails most positive day at Aprilia despite P16. And Stefan Bradl says he is ready to replace. My name is Sankalp and this is your Racing News Fix. Over the last couple of years, other than the general lack of horsepower, wet and mixed conditions have been the biggest weakness of the Yamaha M1. But we saw a very different Fabio Quartararo and Yamaha combination in the rain-soaked Mandalika and it all came down to grip. Speaking about the impressive P2, which according to Fabio himself felt like a victory, Fabio started. I always wish for more grip on every track and at Mandalika, the grip was great. Being competitive and fast in wet conditions for the first time in Premier class, Fabio said he even surprised himself. Fabio continued, It took me a while to realize that I could drive so fast in the wet. In the last laps, I pushed and I never expected to swipe my elbow in the wet. I found the extra grip on the track and I hope it will be same on many more tracks. Really impressed by the lap times, Fabio continued. It starts to be really fast when you are 10 seconds slower than the fastest lap in the dry. Less than 8 seconds is super special. I think it was only with the new asphalt on Saturn ring that we could do that. The grip level was great and I hope it will be the same on all the tracks this year. Zeroing in on the reason for Yamaha's usual lack of pace and mixed conditions, Fabio continued. To be honest, I haven't had this feeling about the bike in a long time. In 2020 and 2021, I was always outside the top 10 in the wet. I could never have a great race. At Le Mans last year, I was on the podium, but that was basically because I had more than 10 seconds on the slick tyres. But in Mandalika, it was full wet and I had the rear wheel grip. That's the thing I want from Yamaha for these conditions. The start of the season has been rough for Maverick Vinales. After yet another strong performance during the test, Maverick found himself lacking a lot of speed in both one-lap shootout as well as in the race trim compared to his teammate. A P12 in his first race thanks to a lot of crashes ahead of him and an outside of the points P16 in the second doesn't look like a lot of fun on paper. But if you look closely at the rest of the Indonesian GP weekend, there were signs of a lot of progress in his side of the garage. Reflecting on the race, Vinales started. It was a survival race at the beginning. You couldn't see the bikes in front, so it was very hard. I lost 15 seconds in first 4 laps, so it was pretty tough. But at the end of the race, I had good rhythm and good lap times. Very happy with the progress made in the Sunday warm-up session where he was in P2 on the standings, Vinales continued. I think that Sunday was the most positive day since I've been at Aprilia because we found a really good setting that I was able to go fast with in the warm-up and that I was comfortable with even in the wet conditions. Looking forward to Argentina, Vinales concluded. Honestly, I am very happy. We feel that if we qualify in the front, we can stay in the front. I am very excited to get to Argentina. And with Marc Marquez's Diplopia back again, it is very highly unlikely that the 8-time world champion will return to racing for at least the next two rounds. Although the initial assessment by the doctors said that the injury is milder than the one sustained back in October last year, the uncertainty of the speed of recovery is still a big unknown. If needed, Stefan Bradl is going to be Honda's first option to replace Mark for the time being. The new RC213V is still very green and Honda need all the data they can get about the bike to improve it and make it more competitive. So leaving Mark's bike in Europe and running with just Polis Spargo for the next two rounds doesn't make much sense for them. When asked about the situation, Bradl started by emphasizing the importance of Marquez and Honda camp. Bradl said, He is irreplaceable for Honda. I feel bad for him because his situation is not an easy one. Nobody knows when Mark will be able to ride again. It's a delicate situation that could be resolved in a few days or in a year. No one has precise information. Speaking about being ready to race, Bradl continued. After seeing the accident during the warm-up, it occurred to me that I could be called soon. Terma Stereo Hondo is the easiest track on calendar. It would be a good track to warm up and enter the racing mode. It is the least physically demanding. But a week later, there is Austin, which is the exact opposite. In any case, when they call me, I'll be ready. If you made it till here and still are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Here are two more videos which you might enjoy. My name is Ankal and I'll be back with another video very soon.